meets the stomach. That's what I'm just doing right here. And then you can kind of kind of go in blind and you can kind of just feel that diaphragm and feel everything holding it up. If you run your knife through the lungs, it's not a big deal. But if you run your knife through the actual stomach and whatnot, you can kind of just feel stuff start giving as you cut. And you're pulling with your left hand while you're cutting with your right. Absolutely. So now I can feel that I've freed a lot of it up and I'll kind of come in here and grab and just kind of one fluid motion pull everything out. So here the only thing that's holding me up is the diaphragm. So I'll cut the other side of the diaphragm here like this, all the way back, like that. And now all we've got is the remaining, I mean, a lot of this is fat. And so you can kind of come back in back here, find your poop chute, cut that away. And then you, you want to watch it here, you don't hit your tenderloins, because they're right at the base of all this. But this is all just fat. So I'll pull everything out like this to there. Now we've got all of his stomach, intestine, stuff like that out. Then I'll come back to the back here. Here, let me see this. And I'll go. This is important. This is here. super important. Okay, so you've got the bung hole there. Yep. So I'll lift his tail. Sharp knife is the key to all of this. And I'll just go right around his bung hole. Like this. And so up. you're in essence making kind of a circular motion, right? Absolutely. You're basically just coring out his butthole. And then what I like to do, if you can, Squeeze all the poo out you can right here. That way you don't get it on the meat. And then you can kind of just grab the butt and you just kind of cut around it any way you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you can get them back. But like all that, try and get all the marbles out before you get in there too crazy. And so, yeah, with it like that, you just kind of feel that tissue, and you kind of just cut around it. I'm actually kind of butchering this one. So you get the idea. Cut all the way around it, free that thing way loose. If you have a bone saw, you can cut this pelvis mm -hmm. uh, right here, mm -hmm. and then you get total access to that. Sure. But I know a lot of guys backpack hunting aren't going to carry a saw with them. And they don't need to. Um, so yeah, we're coring this out. Then you can kind of come up here and pull it. Let me kinda, see. Let me see that. It's not going to come on the first try usually, but you can come in here and free all this up, all this tissue here. Free it all up. So you're kind of core sampling the back. You're also core sampling the front. You're just doing cylinders around it, right? Yep. Anything you see that's holding it in, you gotta cut. Then we'll come back, back, and just keep chipping away at it. Now, Cody, then you're gonna pull it through the front, right? All in one motion? Yep, all the way through the front. Right. Get all these, all this out I can. Just less stuff you're gonna get in your meat if you can get it out clean. Fashion, it's way better. Uh. 